Welcome to another interior real estate photography tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at lighting a really large room with a beam separating the two. So how we're going to actually be able to do this easily and effectively is number one, we're going to do our flash composites on left side and right side of that far room while lighting the space around the camera, as well as using natural light to help us out in this situation. So this is where a lot of times I will stress that I recommend going with lights off, especially if you have especially if the house has a ton of natural light coming in there's no point in fighting against that by using the tungsten lighting that uh, comes with most interior light fixtures in a house so again I always stress make sure you talk to your realtor make sure they're okay with you doing the lights off method but the more and more I shoot with lights off the better and better the results are and the less headaches I have with trying to deal with color casts and all the other problems with the excess steps that you have to take to eliminate those whereas if you shoot with lights off you got the daylight coming in it matches your flash and it just blends so much easier so let's get into Lightroom right now and I'm going to show you how to do this. Alright so here we are in Lightroom and this is a really nice open floor plan of a house. We have a hallway down here, we have the kitchen to the right, dining area to the left and then the living room back here with a staircase so I mean you can't get much more open floor plan than this but sometimes that comes with challenges. Now luckily all these windows are helping us light this back here. We're still going to do our flash composites because we actually we want to overpower that daylight just a little bit so we can see out those windows so it doesn't look so blown out but again sometimes having a soft soft blown out window can look can look pleasing it just depends again on your style the realtors taste you know how high end is this home does it have beautiful mountain views or lake views so a lot of those things are have to be taken into consideration this house just was out in the middle of the country but it had beautiful you know greenery around it so we want to show that a little bit okay so let's get into setting up each one of these now I have talked and shown in other tutorials on how to create your custom presets over here this is gonna be just your initial bump that you're gonna put on every single image and it corrected for my verticals and it just boosted the shadows a little bit and I make sure I come down here and just make sure that my profile corrections is on a lot of the newer lenses today are gonna have built-in profile corrections already custom built in Lightroom Lightroom will recognize that and do that automatically just make sure you check on that and then click the vertical and we are going to move on to the next image so this is the one where I just did a test flash pop fire uh, to see how well the the light was lighting above the camera normally we wouldn't need this if we were doing a composite and we can use lighten mode and Photoshop but for this tutorial we're gonna use this and to keep it simple and then we went out in the back so we have the flash going off above the camera and we also are doing our right flash composite here and our left flash composite here. Now you can see that I'm getting reflections of myself in the TV here and then I'm covering the TV. So I'm actually going to bring in this uh, flash composite here. That will that can be our TV repair layer. And I'm gonna show you a couple other tricks on how to put in a fireplace really quickly and fix for glare on TVs. So full tutorial coming at you right now. All right, so let's take all these starred images here and then I, all I did was hit two on the keyboard to give it a star rating or three or four or five can give you a star rating but I just to make it easier for me to see that I just go with two so I'm gonna hold down command and click on each one of these starred images that's how I know which ones to bring in so we're gonna right click edit in open as layers in Photoshop alright we got all our layers loaded into Photoshop our ambient layers sitting on top here we're gonna turn that off here's our single flash pop above the camera turn that off and now we can work on our right and left composite so we want to come down here to the first one make sure that's highlighted and we're going to do a layer mask command I to invert make sure white is selected and here is a simple fast solution to blending yourself out we're gonna use the gradient tool right over here click on that and make sure you just start with your gradient um, after so we're gonna click and drag to the right and make sure you're just in front of the hot spots that are on the ceiling right here and just click and just make sure you don't go too far into where you were standing on the other side and there we go we're done now 
we need to get ourselves out of that TV and that's all we're really going to use this layer for. So you want to turn this layer back on, make sure you're selected that top layer and we're going to come down here, do a layer mask, command I to invert, white is selected, take our brush tool, just watch your flow up here. I like to leave mine at 5% that way I can just you know, gradually blend in what I need to. We're gonna get rid of that glare on top of the TV and get rid of our arm that was there. And that's just a trick, you know, to make sure that you're paying attention to that. We could do other tools, you know, like uh, uh, the patch tool, and eliminate ourselves out of there. But again, I think that just works a lot faster. And actually that was just, uh, I just did a test fire and it happened to be a layer that I was able to use. So I'm gonna command and then minus sign to zoom back out. And now we can turn on our ambient layer and this is where we can just nicely and easily blend that back in by dropping the ambient layer to 50%. Now this 50% rule won't happen all the time or won't work all the time if you had harsh shadows that need to be 100% eliminated. Remember we're only eliminating 50% of the flash layer when we do this so just be mindful that you're looking around the scene to make sure that it's blending well and that you're not having any unwanted shadows that aren't being completely removed or that are a distraction okay so with that being said I like the way this looks I would be okay with these windows the way they are but if you wanted to bring more of that flash layer back in instead of doing a complete layer mask and then re inverting it we'll just do a layer mask and leave it white come over here and make sure black is selected and now you can just paint back in the window to get uh, bring that flash layer back in all right, so once that looks good, we're going to flatten this image by coming down, right click, flatten image, and we are going to create another layer by clicking this plus sign here. And now what we can do is we can use our pen tool and zoom in, command plus, all the way in. I'm just gonna click on each corner here of the TV with my pen tool. Once you have your border connected, we're gonna right click and fill path. By default, it's gonna be black on your color and just hit OK. And now we can right click and delete path. Now obviously that looks way too dark. Simply drop the opacity of that. I find that 75% still gives you the natural reflections that are in the room and it just, that's how it would look. We're just making it not so distracting as if we were from there to there. So you can actually tell that it's a TV. All right, let's do another layer and we're going to put a fireplace in this, which may or may not look natural, but just for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do it. So I'm going to come up here to file, place embed, and this is where you can search your files on your computer and I have mine under fire fireplace and let's just pick one that looks good and then hit place and we can resize this down and what I like to do is so I can see what I'm working with is take the opacity down to like 50% command plus to zoom in here make sure it's small enough to where it fits in and the other thing I like to do is come up here to the edit, transform, and then distort. And I'm gonna zoom in even more, and I'm gonna take each corner here and just place it in the corner of the fireplace here. And don't worry about that. Anything that needs to be cut off, we can just simply erase it but we're gonna hit the check mark once you're done with that and now let's just try this let's come up here to the blend modes where it says normal click on the down arrow and turn it to lighten mode or screen screen looks good but let's bring up the opacity on that and we can toggle that on and off let's try lighten mode no I don't like lighten screen looks good all right, so we got a little bit of it overlapping on this dog bed here, which probably should have moved that dog bed in hindsight. But we can take our eraser tool over here, and now it's going to tell you to rasterize, whatever that means. <laughs> I really don't know. Rasterize the smart object and hit OK. It'll just do that for you. And again, I don't 100% understand that, but it does it for you. 
All right, and that's it. So we toggle that on and off. It's not super uh, fake looking. Actually, it looks a lot better than I thought it would. So look at that, how that just enhances that image. Okay, so now we can flatten this image. Command S to save it. Let's bring it back into Lightroom. And I'm going to do my interior final bump, and I recommend you doing that as well. So all that did was... You know, I brought the clarity up a little bit. I dropped the black slider down, dropped the, you know, the highlights down again. And watch your histogram. Your final product should be just right of center, somewhere in the uh, one stop over range as far as the majority of it, as long as nothing is blown out. And there you go. So that's how, one way that you can use natural light to your benefit as long as you're shooting with lights off, unless the house has natural daylight uh, lights in it but leave me a comment below if you have any questions and leave me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button I'm releasing tutorials all the time I'm here to help you grow your real estate photography business we'll see you in the next video guys bye bye